Michael was, I think, the f- very first actor who walked in to audition. Um, and I think we have Bruce Willis to thank for that, by the way. Uh, he was working with Michael uh, in Armageddon and uh, was a fan of the book and heard that we were making the movie. And so Bruce pulled Michael aside one day on the set, as, as I've been told the story by Michael, and said, uh, you got to read this. This is your part. You got to go in and read for this. So we got a, you know, we got a call and, and we said, well, we'll look at anybody because this is going to be a very difficult role to cast. Um, it's hard enough finding a great actor, much less a great actor who happens to be of that size, of that ethnicity. You know, it's, it's a very narrow window of, of, uh, of, of a talent pool there, right? So we went for months through this casting process, looking at other people, working with other people. And a thing I could never let go of with Michael was his essence, the person who walked into the room, that sweetness that he had, um, that gentleness that he had, you know? I kept the, he lingered, he lingered with me. And I thought, okay, let's give this guy another another run at it. Let's give him another run at it. Let's, let's actually give him the tools. So we hired, uh, we put him with, a, with an acting coach, Larry Moss. And boy, he, uh, once he hit the set and once we started filming, he had all the tools and then some. He just was this character. He was this person. It was the most astonishing sort of quantum leap from a first reading to a performance that you can imagine. Um, and Larry Moss can, uh, you know, we can credit Larry Moss with some of that, uh, certainly, because he unlocked whatever it was that Michael had. But the truth is that Michael was, had the talent and was ready to do it. He just needed to be guided a little bit. Um, and his performance blows me away. Whenever I see any part of that film, I, I, I think, oh my God, did I get lucky with this man walking in, into the room. And I'm lucky that I, <laughs> that I wouldn't let go of him. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm lucky that I, that I kind of kept moving him along in the process uh, because without him, that movie would not have worked, even with Tom Hanks in it. You know, the one thing I knew about Green Mile is John Coffey had to work. That actor, whoever that was, had to be perfect in that part or the whole movie was going to fall on its face. Um, and Michael Clark Duncan was perfect in that role and was subsequently nominated for everything he could possibly be nominated for. <laughs>